its order creation and PGA okay goods delivery. Oh, that is the reason you must have to do the configuration. Okay, then come to first. Okay, the number one, the risk, how the system is going to determine how the system will control the automatic automatically the credit control when the system is going to perform the credit check. Okay, now to this credit control area risk class what i have given okay risk class 0 1 is risk class 0 1 is okay high risk class okay then we need to understand the logic here itself the risk class is a high risk class So if the customer is belongs to high risk class, what you can see here, customer is a high risk class. My here, our, our business requirement is that when the when the customer is falling the high risk, then what is the what is the credit group at which level we want to perform the credit credit group at sales order level? What you can see here, zero one. Then I just mentioned the same as the risk class. Now come to here. This is the important section. OK, here is that system. We want to perform the credit management. Then the reactions. What would be the reactions as soon as once the credit check will be performed? OK, then at the time of sales order creation here, credit group we have specified is the OK credit group at sales order creation. Now the reaction system reaction should be like B, but don't use A, B and all which will be not applicable for S4 HANA. It is a part of SECC. I mean, OK, so if you that is the reason you can see C and D. C is a like like a so a in the sense of warning message d i just have mentioned the reactions here like b okay values by which the credit limit has been exceeded in case if customer is crossing the beyond the credit limits customer is trying to utilize the beyond the credit limits the system should stop the and system should throw the error message okay this is the then the, the similar way I have done the configuration for the zero to also for medium risk. What I have given here, okay, this and all it's a common, okay, at the time of sales order only. Then the C I have specified here, okay. When it should it should give the warning message at the time of sales order creation, then immediately it should the status should block the sales order should get block okay the authorized person should review and they they need to go for the release that sales order okay this is what what i have given okay the credit horizon period i have not specified we'll see that one the credit horizon period the similar way i have done configuration for the 03 also okay 03 warning message but now you can see here cg OK, the credit group I have specified here instead of sales order, I want to block the delivery. OK, I want to block the delivery. So meaning that I am giving instruction to the system. System should allow the sales order. OK, even though even though it should give the warning message. OK, it should not stop sales order, but sale, but delivery should stop as per my business requirement. Since the customers are the low risk customers, it depends on the customer risk category. We can decide which one we need to provide. OK, now. So these are the few configurations. OK, these are the steps of what I have performed. This was the last step. Now let us go and see the into the system. OK, now. OK, now let me come to the this is the business partner which I have created. OK, now let me select the business first. Let me select the business partner is a high risk. OK. Then first let me save this one and let me come from the beginning. What are the roles which I have assigned to this business partner? This is important for us. Okay, now now we can see the now <coughs> come to and check the roles. Okay, BP. I mean, this is the FI customer we must have to assign. 
okay so since the customer we we must have to assign the reconciliation account part okay then the second one is that the customer we must have to assign the customer also okay customer in the sense okay we must have to map the sales data okay this is the the sales data with the, with the sales organization okay this is for testing purpose fi supplier i have assigned but no, i did not assign any anything here okay now the important thing is that the general data as well as fi customer then fc flc u00 flc u01 then apart from this the last one is that credit management ukm triple zero if we maintain this role what will happen now let me select this role okay i think other roles you already aware of that one now come to here the under credit profile okay the scoring as we are not following any scoring related information okay i just have specified the all external agencies internal scoring limits just for our information since it is a mandatory field okay now the risk class the risk class it will play the key role okay now the risk class i have given high risk class okay so high risk class in the sense what system should perform okay system should not allow users to okay create the sales order even if the customer is crossing the okay customer is trying to utilize the 100 percent credit limit at that point of time system should stop okay this is our okay assumption then the credit check rules there are credit check rules so statistic is there dynamic is there but irrespective of that one i have selected all credit checks all in the sense whatever the okay only the the system will try to check the system will perform the credit check for the if customer is crossing the 100 percent limit i have not mapped maximum document value okay and also the maximum dunning levels related that that kind of credit check rules i have not mapped anything if there will be any customer or client specific requirement we can map that one okay the scoring and all which is not applicable then come to the credit segment now for this credit segment this is our credit segment okay now under this credit segment the rules you can see here again this is for the credit limit okay all external agencies this is for the rating only okay then i have selected here is the limit defined okay one thing you may encounter okay now as soon as once you go into the change mode here you need to select the limit defined after entering the limit and the value here then if you after saving this one what will happen in s4 hana system okay in 1909 what will happen there will be a one more option will pop up here the up the pop up okay where we need to come back we need to approve that limit okay now let us assume i have entered i would like to okay go for the one lakh rupees the limit credit limit but now the particular authorized person need to review that limit whether that limit we can give that to customer or not okay we must have to come back here we need to select that one okay we need to approve that limit there will be one more option will be there but let's see if any business partner is there let me select that one slash o let me show you that one also but it's a depends on the business requirement okay if whether one person can review and approve it or they want to go for the Okay, fine. Okay, I'll take new business partner, which will which we do not have that one. Select. Fine. Let me first select the role. Let us see that one. UKM triple zero credit management. I'm just selecting this one. Let me select this one. The rules, all rules, risk class, domestic customers. Let me enter. Come to the credit segment. Okay, select the credit segments. This is the credit segment. Let me select the limit here. Okay, let me give the just for our understanding. Then 
now you can see here the option which is pop up which is popping up here one more option the system is requested okay the person entered the credit limit after entering that one it will not valid okay what we need to do we need to release that credit the uh, okay we need to release that so what will happen the authorized person need to come back and we need to review that one okay then if they are okay then they can they can able to release this one okay now once once if you try to save this also this will be blank only as soon as once you will release this limit then only the limit will be okay uh, the limit the value will be okay enable here now if you want to instead of 10000 you want to give only 8000 also okay that can be also possible okay depends on your requirement we need to come back and we need to review this one now see if you want to reject also either you want to approve the release the limit okay release in the sense you want to go for the release you are okay with that one now if you want to reject you just reject this limit also okay this is the workflow which is triggering automatically okay there is no i mean this is a standard functionality okay then i just want to show you so this no, one there no prerequisite configuration required for this huh? no no automatically no. No? yes as part of s4 hana it is triggering automatically venkat no prerequisite uh, no configure no prior configuration to be required for this one so directly whoever is approving uh, they can able to get the option in bp itself uh, to approve yeah. or reject reject the role role venkat it is a uh, role based right okay yeah, if the right, person right. Yeah, if the person will have that role, then they can come back and they will release it. Okay, they can approve it or reject it. Fine. Okay, because because for other business partner, I have already maintained. I would like to show this one. Okay, so then please keep in mind this one. Then <coughs> let me come back because I do not want to maintain this one for this BP because this BP was created for others. Okay, now let me go to the business partner 51 right let me go to the sc16 because i want to create a sales order by using that bp customer it is the customer number i don't know bp number let me give the 51 the bp is the 51 here so this is the customer number what i am having because i just mentioned some are the parameters but i do not want to go with that one what i will do i will close that one okay this was the one okay i'm just closing i'm coming from the beginning okay now this is the my customer number okay for this business partner 51 business partner this was the customer number what system has been generated since it is a not the same numbers okay now fashion pa01 okay so the order type is a or okay standard order okay these are the say this is the sales organization distribution channel division okay i have already shared with you people okay the mm and sd configuration then if you do that one then only this will you can able to perform the credit management okay so now let me enter this is the credit master ship sold to party ship to party let me enter one two three four five then the date let me enter today's date 27 01 2023 okay <clears throat> then the information sales area information which is already available now let me enter item 10 okay then before going to this one okay we need to understand what is the credit limit which is having in this bp in this bp the i have entered the credit limit is a one lakh rupees first let us try to okay let us try to utilize the more credit limit i mean let us try to the the place the sales order with more than 1 lakh rupees let's see the what's what will be the system reactions okay the quantity let me give the let me give the okay the conditions for pricing conditions i have maintained so that is the reason the system is picking price from there okay i have entered let me assume the okay 2500 quantity then enter let's see what system will say just entering this one now you can see here now you can see here the credit segment trm of partner bp 
credit limit 1 lakh rupees inr exceeded the okay this much the credit limit which is exceeding and also you need to understand here credit check sap credit management failed okay as soon as if you see encounter this message unable to save unable to save in the sense system will not move